Hey everyone and welcome to another tutorial by Ashni from Enchant Me Not. So today I'm going to teach you how to have or add curvy text into your Photoshop image using the pen tool and it will look something like this. There are other ways to add curvy text onto a Photoshop image however using the pen tool allows you to do other creative things such as add wavy text and um, or add text along shapes that you might want to use. So I'm just going to minimize this for now and create a new document. My settings are the width is 650 and the height is 400. Resolution is 72. My color mode is RGB color with 8-bit and my background is white. So just click OK and I'm just going to grow this out a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is come to the ellipse tool over here in the menu and select it. This is going to help guide me when I'm creating my curve. So just take the ellipse tool and from somewhere outside the square that you see, just draw in an ellipse. You want it to be like this, or I'm using it like this anyway, because it's going to help guide me when I'm creating the curve with the pen tool. The pen tool is extremely tricky to use, especially if you're using it for the first time. So it's better to have guiding lines. The next thing we can do is add in some placeholder text. I'm just going to have some straight text saying, this is a tutorial from PMN. This is how straight text is. You just type it simply in a horizontal fashion. You can also choose to type in a vertical type tool where your text will look like this. I personally really don't like that. You can also come over here to this curvy T tool over here. And under style, you can actually choose arc, arch, bulge, all these other options which allow you to write in waves or flags, whatever format you want. However, this doesn't actually help you if you have more than, let's say, two waves or two bends in your wave, or if you want to create a more um, creative sort of text area. So the next step is to create the curve that the text is going to go along. So come over to your sidebar menu over here and select the pen tool. If you hold down on the pen tool, you'll notice that there's the pen tool, the freeform pen tool, and add anchor point tool, delete anchor point tool, and convert point tool. For this tutorial, all I'm going to be using is a pen tool, as it's the most basic one. So just go and select it, make sure you're on pen tool. Then come over to your layers panel and create a new layer. This is just so that the shape doesn't interfere with any other shapes that you might have created. And this can get very problematic if you're not too careful. So now we just go to the tutorial. I want to create a curve from here all the way around to here. And inside this curve, I'll, I want to add my text. So what you do is first just click a point where you want your curve to start. And just press it once and let go you'll see a little square appear. Now go to where you want your curve to end. Here you need to hold down and then start dragging your curve or start dragging your mouse upwards or downwards, sideways, whichever direction you want your curve to move in. If you move your curve or if you move your cursor upwards, it will create a downward facing curve. So if you just watch my screen, you'll see what will happen. I'm moving my mouse upwards and as you can see that line is starting to move down. Now if I start moving diagonally to the right, I can start creating a, um, a more even curve throughout. And this is where the curve that we created at the beginning, the pink one, comes in really handy as we can see the bottom of the curve or, uh, or we can align the curve to the bottom of the pink curve and create a more evenly balanced one. So this looks pretty even for now. So here I'm just going to let go. You will get this shape because we are creating shapes with our curves or with the pen tool. 
but um, you can just deselect this or just um, make this invisible later on. So now you come to the text tool, make sure it's in horizontal type, and uh, select another color to use. I'll use purple. When you hover over any area that you want to type in, you will notice that there's a square dotted box around the text tool or the type tool. And if you click, it will give you the flashing cursor where you can type. We don't want that. If you go to the curve that you created and just hover on one of the sides, you'll notice that the box, the dotted box, disappears and you get a type tool with a sort of curve going through it. This is what we want. So go to the curve, make sure that, that, that the modified type tool, not the one with the box, appears, and then just press. You'll see the curve is at an angle, or the cursor is at an angle. This is how you know that it's on the, um, it's on the curve that you wanted. So here you can just type in whatever you want. make that color you can actually see. Learn how to type in curves. Now from here it's just any it just acts as any normal text. You can come and change the font to something else if you'd like. You can change the font size. I'm going to leave it at 48 for now since it fits very nicely. You can also come in here, come into your layers and change the functions add a drop shadow, add strokes to it, whatever you'd like. And yeah, so you might be thinking, I can easily do this with a, with a curve created warped text tool over here. But let's say you wanted to create a wave with multiple curves in it. I'm just going to make these invisible for now. And you go to the pen tool and you click on one point, you click on the next one where you want your curve to stop and you can just create a whole bunch of points like this depending on the shape that you want your curve. You don't need to worry about the colored areas which are coming up, just make sure you keep track of which side you started on for your on your curve. Then just go into the type tool, look for the um, modified type tool, and just start typing. As you can see, this is following the curve that you made. This You can't do this, you can't have customized curves or customized waves using the warped text tool that comes with Photoshop, which is why the pen tool is very helpful. So if you remember me saying that um, there's this shape created, this white shape created, to get rid of it, all you need to do is press this eye tool over here and it disappears. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and make sure you visit my site. Thank you and have a good day.